Hey everybody, this is Fully Off and welcome to another episode of the Minecraft Survival Manual. In today's episode I'm going to be talking a little bit about weapons and armour and why it's important and how to craft it and that sort of stuff. And at the end of the episode don't forget to go and check out Avo's videos where he's going to be doing the same thing only in his own style. So I think to start with I'll talk a little bit about armour. As you've noticed, if you saw at the beginning, I've got myself a, an iron chest plate which I made a few episodes ago. But an iron chest plate is good, but it's not brilliant on its own. I'm going to need a full suit of armour before I really go investigating or go uh, caving or, or go exploring, that kind of stuff. So let's pop back into the base. I could have made it out of leather. You can make all the armour out of leather and you get leather from cows. We've got some leather earlier on. There you go. And leather armour is great right at the very beginning when you've not been mining. But, hello mate, you all right there? But iron is much, much better. Oh, and before I do anything, I want to thank you guys for pointing out that I always leave my door open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab myself a couple of bits of coal, a couple of bits of cobble, throw that in there. Grab a piece of charcoal. Throw that in there. I'm going to make myself a... Did I not put that back? I'm going to make myself a stone pressure plate, which I can then put on the floor there. And that will stop me. I can move my door, actually. Move my door out one. There. I wasn't planning on doing this kind of thing today, but I need to do it because, uh, because it's important, really. Put that there. Excellent. Grab myself my stone. I can now make uh, a stone pressure plate. It doesn't appear on my... Uh, my crafting in my crafting recipe book because I've never made one before. So to make a stone pressure plate, don't even need the crafting table actually. Press E and you can make a stone pressure plate by putting two pieces of stone. It's got to be smooth stone next to each other. And then you make yourself a stone pressure plate. So if I put that there now, every time I walk onto the pressure plate, the door is going to open. And then when I go through it, it's going to close behind me. It's going to stop bad guys getting into my base. Thanks guys. Perfect. So I'm going to grab myself some iron, which we've got here, 53 pieces of iron. I'm also going to throw all of my steak in there and get it cooked up because we're going to need some steak for later. Now to make iron, there are there are four basic uh, parts of four four basic components of iron. There's the the helmet, the hat. There's the chest plate. There are leggings and there are boots. Now, I've already got my chest plate, so I don't need that anymore. So I'm going to make myself an iron hat. And you make a hat by making a hat shape in your crafting table. And then there you go. Because we've already picked up iron, we've already got the recipes for this stuff in our crafting book, in our recipe book. Uh, so if you don't know the, the recipe for, for, for iron, uh, iron armor, then don't worry about it. Um, it, it should appear in your in your crafting book. So we've got ourselves an iron hat. We want to make ourselves a little pair of iron booties. So that's just two pieces of iron on either side like that. And then we want to make ourselves a pair of iron leggings, which is just something that looks like leggings, I guess. So we'll get those, put those there, put those there, put those there. Now, there's a couple of ways you can put this on. You can right click on it, if, just look into space and then right click on it and you'll automatically put it on. Let me put myself in F. Five, so you can see. So I've got my leggings in my hand. Right click, put them on. Put my booties on. Fabulous. Also, you can shift click and, and put it in and out of your inventory as well. So if you uh, if you shift and click on it, left click on it, you'll either take it off or you'll put it on. Brilliant. Now you've noticed, or you've probably noticed, uh, at the bottom, uh, just above my hearts, I've now got some little shields appeared. And that little, those little shields tell me how much armor I've actually got on. So you can see it's not quite full up. You only get full armor when you uh, when you use diamond armor. But but iron armor is uh, is much better than the the leather armor. And now the the iron armor will take the damage that you would normally take if you were attacked by mobs. And if you want to know the exact figures, you need to go and check out the. Minecraft wiki page for armor, which it'll, it'll give you all of the information you'll ever need there, uh, all the percentages and 
and this and that. It's fantastic. It's a, it's a good read. Now, just so you know, I'm actually using a texture pack. It's a better than default 2.4 texture pack. So a couple of my settings, a couple of my visuals are a little bit different to what you might see on, on standard vanilla. Those little shields next to uh, just above my heart on your screen could well be uh, chest plates, but it's exactly the same thing. So as you can see, I've got seven and a half chest plates here that means i've got 15 points of armor on at the moment now if i were to use a full set of leather armor i'd have seven points which are which would be three and a half shields if i use golden armor i get 11 points or five and a half shields uh, chain mail which you can't make you can only get that from skellies or zombies or you can now buy it from armorers uh, that will give you 12 armor points or six shields the iron armor that i've got on as i mentioned gives me 15 armor points or seven and a half chest plates or shields and the the daddy of them all the eye uh, the diamond armor will actually give you 20 points that'll fill your shields or your chest pieces right up to the top and later on we're going to be able to enchant the armor as well which will give us even more protection but we'll talk about that a little bit later so now i've got all my armor on i need to keep myself up with some weapons now, there are five main types of weapon, but I can currently only talk about two of them. I can only talk about the, the sword and the axe uh, because they're the only two I've got. They're the two melee weapons. There are also three ranged weapons as well. And ranged weapons just means that you can you can fight enemies at range. So I could fight that skelly over there. I can't do it with my sword. It's far too far away. But if I had a ranged weapon then I'd be able to fire at that skeleton. And the ranged weapons are the, the crossbow, which is new to 1.14, the trident, which was new to the 1.13 update, and the, uh, the bow, which we've had around for ages. Now, at the moment, I can't even make a bow because I've only got three pieces of string. So hopefully I'll, I'll, I'll get my bow sorted out soon. And the last piece of armor I want to talk about is the shield. And we've used the shield already before. There it is. And we'll stick it in our offhand and, and now we can block if we right click we can block attacks from from other mobs really and the shield will take the damage rather than us now it's important to keep a track of how damaged your equipment is your armor and your weapons because you don't want to be running into into battle to fight somebody only for your armor or your or your shield or your weapon to break and the easiest way to do that you'll see on my uh, on my hotbar you'll see that there are bars underneath it. So if it's a green bar, it's not going to break very soon. If it's a yellow bar, then you're about halfway through it. And if we grab something out of here, went to every chest apart from the right one. And if it's on the, uh, if it's on red, then it's almost about to break. Now, if you want to know exactly how long you've got left on that particular item, you need to press F3 and then H together. And that will show you the advanced tool tips. So now if I press E and hover over my axe, it'll tell you that I've got an attack speed of 0.9 and an attack damage of 9, but I've got durability of 140 out of 250. So that's about, you know, just over halfway. And you can see it's just over halfway because of the, the yellow line on the bar. But you know exactly now how much durability you've got left. So if I were to look at that... That shovel again I've got durability of 12 out of 131 so in another 12 uses that stone shovel is going to break uh, the, the hoe has got 46 uses left um, that stone pick's got 50 uses left so it's quite useful to have the tool tips turned on because then you'll know exactly how much durability you've got left those are at full durability whereas the the iron chest plate has, has had a, a little bit it's, it's been used because I've been attacked so I think now what I'm going to do is, is it dark? Oh, it's daytime, but it is raining. So I wonder if there are any bad guys out here that we can go and attack. I could always attack a squid because I'm pretty sure I'd win against a squid. So they don't fight back. Now, sometimes it's because it's raining, the, the any mobs that spawned overnight won't burn up so we may find some over here and then again we may not
What we need at the moment are zombies because we need to find beetroot or carrots or potatoes in order to tame those little piggies. So until we find a zombie or we find a mine shaft that's got that's got a chest in it, then uh, then we're not going to be able to train at uh, tame even we're not even going to be able to tame them. We're not going to be able to entice the pigs back to the farm. I'm flogging a dead horse here. So I'm going to go back to the base and I'm going to sit inside until it gets dark and then hopefully we'll come out and, uh, and have somebody to be able to fight. Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to mess about outside. I'm going to go down and find that mine shaft because we've got a mine shaft at the bottom of our, down the bottom of the tunnel in our base. We're going to go down there and see if we can find anything down there. Look at that. Door's closed. Everybody's happy. Before I go down there, I better kit myself out. So what I'm going to take with me, I'm going to grab myself a bucket of water. It's always good to have water. So you right click on some water, pick up the water. That serves a couple of purposes. That is going to stop me from burning to death. If I, uh, if I dig into lava, I can just put this down. It's going to turn the lava into obsidian, which means I'm not going to die. I'm going to need some coal. So I need to make some torches. I'm going to take some sticks and also a stack of logs. As I mentioned earlier, I find logs are the best way to carry wood because you can turn logs into planks. You can turn logs into sticks, into which you then turn into uh, into torches. I'm going to make myself a couple more iron picks because I don't have anywhere near enough. I've got sticks on me. So how many do I need? Let's take three. Shift click, I've got my three picks, put my three picks above each other there. I should be okay with my sword. Um, torches, I'll make some more torches while I'm here. As many as I can. That should be enough. I've got a stack of cobble in case I need to block myself in. Put my iron back. Got some food. I should have some more food in here. Got myself some more food. Excellent. Don't need that. So let me stick my torches in my offhand. At the moment, I'm probably going to need probably going to need torches more than I'm going to need my my shield. But if you notice, I've put my shield right underneath where my offhand is. Because that way, if I if I desperately need my shield quickly, I can press E and then quickly drop it into my into my shield slot. Okay, so uh, you don't have to put it there, but uh, but I just do. Okay, so we've got everything I think we need. Um, I'm bound to have forgotten something, so let's pop down and see what we can find in the in the mine shaft, and hopefully we can find some bad guys to fight. So this is as far as I got early. We'll do some mining later. We'll come back and we'll do all of the, the gathering later because there's bound to be some lovely, lovely loot around here. Excellent. Got ourselves a few few uh, few mobs, few zombies. Now when mining, there are there are loads of different ways to mine. Oh, hello, mate. Oh, sorry, when you're running around through mine shafts. There are loads of different ways. People will tell you to put torches on walls or put torches pointing this way and that way. I'm sure that you'll come up with a decent way to do it yourself. I don't really have one. I just stick the torches down on the floor and then just run around until I find my way back from where I was. Now, string is fantastic. I think I mentioned this before. If you have a go at some string with, with a sword, it'll turn into... Uh, sorry, if you have a go at a cobweb with a, a sword, it'll turn into string. And now we've got enough string to make ourselves a bow when we get back upstairs. But at the moment, we don't have any arrows, so it's a bit of a moot point. So I'm just going to carry on going down here, carry on lighting the place up. Can you hear them? Oh, didn't want him to blow up, but there you go. Never mind. 
Did you see how that made the uh, the gravel fall down? That's because the gravel uh, the gravel is affected by gravity. Oh, gravel is affected by gravity in Minecraft. So you've got to be careful not to do that because if you're standing under some gravel, when it comes down, it will cause damage. And I'll uh, I've got a little trick for that when you're mining later, uh, which we'll have a look at when we're doing some mining. But I want to put my torches back in my. Back in my hand now and light this place up a little bit more. Oh, look what we found. Look what we found. Apart from zombies, found a chest. So we just light it up a little bit. Now, there's an enderman down there. Do not look straight at the enderman. Because if, oh, did you see that down there? Look at that down there. The loads and loads, loads and loads of, of cobwebs, which means that there is a cave spider spawner there. You whack that guy and back off. Oh, we weren't lucky. We could have got ourselves some gunpowder, which is great for making TNT, but uh, but I didn't didn't get any. Right, so over there, we've now got a, a spider spawner. If we get within 16 blocks of that spider spawner, it's going to it's going to light up and uh, and cave spiders are going to spawn. Cave spiders uh, poison you and they're not very nice, so I don't think we're going to go over there. What I might do, though, is I might want to get myself an ender pearl from that, uh, from that guy there. So if I grab myself my, my blocks and I make a... A, a, a sort of a ceiling above me that's only too high it means that the enderman can't get underneath which means i can now look at him he's going to go mad but he won't be able to get to me let me look at him over there well, i can whack him actually so he's now very mad at me but he can't get to me and i haven't got an ender pearl either darn it let's look at him hello mate yeah, yeah, you're mad. And always try and aim at Enderman's feet. If you whack them on the anywhere else, they teleport. They'll teleport away. Whack them on, on their feet, and they tend not to teleport away. And we've got an Ender Pearl. Fabulous. That will come in very handy if we get ourselves stuck in a place where we can't get out. Right, I, I'm not brave enough at the moment. To run in there and let me run in and light it up just a little bit. Oh, not that brave, not that brave. Where's my shield? No, we'll we'll deal with that later. Anyway, let's sort this out. Let's have a look in here. We've got we've got ourselves some gold, fabulous, some lapis, some more iron. Have it all the way. Uh, I don't know whether I've showed you this before either, but if you uh, if you pick up one of the items and then you shift and double click uh, another item in the in the chest or in your inventory for that matter, you will transfer everything uh, of the same item into your inventory. So if I press shift with a torch in hand, I've got to pick up that torch like that. If I then shift and double click on that torch, I'll move all of these torches into my inventory which is great if you're picking up loads of cobble and stuff like that. Let me just demonstrate that. So if I put if I put that wood there like that, normally, if I wanted to pick all of that up, I'd have to do this, and it would be really hard work, and nobody likes that. So what you do is pick one up. It doesn't even have to be one of the same item. I can pick any item up. So if I pick up that name tag and then press Shift and double-click on the wood, it moves all of the wood into the inventory and it's just a really really quick way of doing it and it's great when you're crafting as well if you're crafting loads of iron or loads of kelp into kelp blocks and stuff like that just just pick something up and double click on it and and it'll move it into your inventory so we'll have the pumpkin seeds away as well i'm also going to have those you can never have too many of those i'm also going to have the rails and the best thing for mining rails is actually a uh, a pick i'm not going to go that way and I'm not going to pick that up just yet. So let's grab my grab my torches again. Let's have another shifty round here. 
see if there's somebody else we can fight seeing as we're discussing combat oh we found another one oh hello mate they don't like and this will come uh, until they change it then this is going to work to your advantage but but mobs in general don't like walking across rails okay so we're we're down a down a mine shaft now he can't get by because the the posts are there he also won't walk over the rails so uh, so we're pretty safe the only way he will walk over the rails is if i whack him and he steps up onto the rails so as long as i don't as long as i don't whack him onto the onto the rails then I can just run up, whack him, run away, and we're okay. And he dropped a bit of gunpowder, which is brilliant. Now, I am going to pick that up, but I'm just going to go up here and light this up a little bit. But as I mentioned before, you don't want to be snuck up on. You see, if I'd have started looking in that chest, he could have snuck up on me. Now, he's on the rails, so he's going to walk straight down the rails. So it's only, it's only when he comes off the rails when he's off the rails that uh, that we're safe so don't uh, you know don't be loaded into a false sense of security that that you're going to be safe with rails there it's not necessarily always going to be the case I've lit up enough around there Don't want to go too far that way because of those cave spiders. But we've lit up enough. Let's go back and check in this chest. Brilliant. So we've got loads of rails. So again, pick something up, double click on it, puts it in your inventory. Double click on that, puts it in your inventory. Double click on your torches, all in your inventory. We've got some melon seeds, which are great bit of bread. We've also got a book, an enchanted book, which is absolutely fantastic this early on in the game. So what have we got? We've got efficiency two. That will be that will come in really handy when we start mining in the next episode or so. So we'll have those away. And we'll go off and just have another quick shifty round to see if we can find some more mobs. Shall we ever go at a, 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 a cave spider? Cave spiders are really bad because they will. They'll, they'll do you some damage. Let me put my shield in my hand. Let's go and get this spider. Oh, oh, oh. Did you see that? Did you see that? That is, that is brilliant. I don't know what spawner it is yet, but there's a spawner there. There's a dungeon. You can see cobblestone. Wherever, whenever you see cobble underground, it, it it's probably going to be either lava running near water or it's going to be a spawner because cobble doesn't naturally generate underground. Now, got to be careful here. I can't get past that because the, uh, the, the, the it's going to stick up a little bit too high. So if we get rid of that, I'm going to have to sort of run in, light it up and then leg it back out again and hopefully not die in the process. So let's put some torches in my in my hand. So what one is it? It's a spider. Don't look at that yet. Oh. Oh, excellent. So jumping, and I've mentioned this before, jumping deals out one and a half times more damage. So if you jump and then strike or you jump off the top of something and then hit, uh, you'll you'll give out much more damage. But this is brilliant. Let's light this up. We'll make a we'll make a spawner out of this later. Now, a spawner will become active when you're, I believe it's within 12 blocks of it. So as soon as I get within 12 blocks, you'll see the lights start to go on on the spawner. If I get 12 blocks away, can't get far enough away, but those lights go off and it won't spawn and it'll spawn spiders within an area or any mobs within an area of nine by nine by six and it'll spawn them in midair. So it won't even spawn them on solid blocks. So you've got to light up all of these corners because if any one of these blocks in here has got a light level of lower than eight, if it's got seven or below, these bad boys can spawn. Okay, so make sure that if you, even if the corners at the bottom are lit up, 
make sure the corners at the top are lit up because if they're not, you're going to get jumped on. Right, what we got in here then? Bit of gunpowder, fabulous. Some <laughs> diamond armor. Haven't got a horse yet. Some more of those and a bit of coal. That's lovely. We'll have a way with the, the chest as well. And what have we got in this one? Some more gunpowder. Fabulous. More iron, some more rotting flesh, some more horse armor. What don't I need? What can I get rid of? Um, spider eyes. Oh, no, I'll get rid of the gravel for the time being. Keep the spider eye because that'll come in handy. That's one of the challenges as well. If you eat a spider eye, uh, it's, it's one of the challenges. Do I need that horse armor? Yeah, let's have it. Let's have it because we've got it. Brilliant. I'm going to find one more baddie. Let's go and have a go at the let's go and have a go at the cave spider, shall we? I did say I was going to. Let's go and let's go and do them. Oh, he's coming! He's coming! Oh, I don't like him because I'm not ready. Get that in there. Now I'm going to go at these with my sword. Even though the axe is stronger, a sword hits more than one bad guy. So hopefully, if they come at me, I can uh, I can block him. Block him. Lock him. Oh, he's poisoned me. Right. So now I'm being poisoned. That'll take me all the way down to one heart, uh, half a heart. Uh, so I've got to eat something to, to get my strength back up again. Which is why it's really important that you take food with you. I'm just going to have one more go at the, sp uh, the spiders. Even though I shouldn't really. Let me put some steak in my uh, where I normally put my food. Let's grab that again. Now they'll they can attack you when they're below you, but they can't attack you when they're above you. So that may well come in handy at a later stage. Come on then, mate. Yeah, proper. Proper frills, proper. But I've survived. And he sounds like he's just walked into lava, the idiot. Oh, <laughs> we found another one. I'm going to do this one. And then we'll call it a day. So we'll have to pull the way past it so that nothing comes up from behind you. Final look. Powered rail is brilliant. More seeds. You never have too many seeds. I've run out of space. What don't I want? Um, let's put down the... don't know now. Put down those. We don't really need those, do we? Brilliant. So I think we'll call it a day for today then, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you've enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to leave it a like. And if you've really loved it, don't forget to subscribe for future videos. And don't forget to pop over now and have a look at Avo's latest video. It's out the same time as this one. And uh, and I'm sure he'll be having a lot of fun over there. So thanks again. This is Fully Off. And I'm out of here. <laughs>